Hello everyone, welcome to day two of dealing with Lexington. Sorry yesterday's vlog ended so kind of fast and abruptly. It was just like a really crazy day of trying to figure out what to do with all this stuff. Um, basically yesterday we let him rest all day. He wasn't really showing any signs of getting worse, but at the same time he wasn't really showing any signs of getting better. Primarily, he was just really scared all day, so he wanted to be in like dark, Kind of like caved off spaces. I woke up today and we kind of made the decision that it's probably the best thing to do is to call the vet. Uh, they open like a half an hour so I'm gonna call just to get some options as to maybe what we can do. You know maybe even if it's just a checkup. He can walk. He's not like there's nothing broken at least we can't tell. You know he can walk just fine. It just seems like he's really traumatized and I just want to make sure there's nothing else going on with him. Um, so this is going to be like an ongoing thing with this vlog, you know, uh, yesterday it sucked so bad. We were going to take him out and it was supposed to be a Lexington themed vlog. We were going to go all around in his new backpack, but this happens and you know, this is, uh, this is where we're at. So he's sleeping right here, right in front of me. He's just kind of resting, have an ice pack with him, but I will, uh, I'll fill you guys in when I call the vet. Okay. So here's an update for you guys. It is... Five after three, and in about 20 minutes, I'm going to be taking Lexington to the vet for a checkup. Nothing too intense, just kind of, you know, making sure there's nothing going wrong that I'm not noticing. It's just we, Stephanie and I both feel like that's the safest thing to be doing right now. So that's what I'm going to do. It's hot out. I'm going to have to walk there. It's about a 15, 20 minute walk. So we're going to make that as easy as possible. Haven't done much filming today because a lot's going on. Thank you for everyone for your nice support, all the nice things you've been saying. This really sucks. You know, we weren't expecting this at all. Actually, today I had to cancel my first band practice. Some people who are going to play in uh, my live band with me, which, you know, that's a bummer, and I'm sorry to you guys. We'll even fill you in on what is going on with that in the near future, but for now, Lexington is the priority. Um, so yeah, I guess like in a few minutes, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this camera with me. Don't know how much I can film, don't know how much I wanna film, but I will take it just to fill you guys in as this goes on. Okay, we got Lexington in there. We're going, it's about 3.20, so I wanna get there a few minutes early, so we're gonna leave now. The cats are very curious as to what's going on. So, let's get him over to the vet. guys we just got home from the vet we'll take care of Lex and I'm gonna go upstairs and tell you what they said hi bud hi pal how you doing little guy is it nice to be back home look at that he's wagging his tail already it's because I have this now Lex you can't run for it right now you need to rest so I'll just let you see it there you go good boy Lex Lex you should probably do a pee buddy Okay, I am back home. Lexington just had dinner. He took his medications. He is resting. So the experience at the doctor was like really a great experience. Um, first off, they loved Lexington. Secondly, he's gonna make a total fine recovery. I'm still gonna keep a really close eye on him. He needs to rest for like a week. Um, he's got cuts and bruises all around his neck and then his back leg is sore, so we need to just watch that. He's even like so happy to be home right now. He was such a good dog there. Had a few other things checked out too and he is doing good. So I'm just like really, this is a big relief. It's crazy, you know, like yesterday Stephanie and I were feeling so bad and we just like didn't know what to do and we felt like bad dog parents. But, you know, like taking him in, we were really scared it was going to be expensive, but we found a really good place and it was only 60 bucks. That huge assurance knowing that he's going to be okay is totally worth the money. So with all that behind me, I'm just thinking about like, what a crazy experience this was. You know, yesterday we started out, it was a wonderful day. We had a whole slew of things planned. We were going to take Lexington in the backpack up to Alberta. And then that happened. And... You can't prepare for these kind of things. You can't even begin to understand. You know, before bed last night, I started analyzing like, well, what if I went out this door first? Would I have gotten there faster? And the only thing I can think that is so important to learn from this experience is that these experiences happen so you know how to handle them in the future. These things happen and they're gonna happen again, whether if it's a dog or like, if my foot gets ran over by a car or if my bike tire breaks and 
I fly over the handlebars and break my shoulder or something. You have to know how to be prepared to handle these things emotionally. Looking forward to Lexington getting a recovery. He's already wanting to play with balls, but he has to rest. Um, so that's kind of it for today, guys. Like, I'm going to stop filming. I'm sorry it's short. I just want to go meet up with Stephanie. We're going to have dinner. And I just kind of want to like relax for a little while. But you guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your kind words for Lexington. It means a lot to me. I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you then.